Hey everyone, Dr. Eric, the fitness physician. Welcome to my channel. I talk about all things related to hormonal fitness and muscle medicine and much, much more. So uh, on my Testosterone Tuesdays, I talk about a very variety of, talk of topics related to testosterone, and this one is another one. So I did it, I started a series about sodium bicarbonate. Uh, one of the ways I recommend that is with uh, Alpha Seltzer Gold, uh, ASG, and I did a quick primer on that um, uh, about a week or so ago and talked about some of the benefits of utilizing sodium bicarbonate in the form of Alpha Seltzer Gold uh, for reactions to the skin with testosterone or peptide injections and a few other things. So some other benefits too I wanted to talk about. Some people are asking, well, what else does it do? So because this is one of my little little secret weapons that I use sometimes. So today I'm going to hit a couple more. I'm going to talk about performance and sports enhancement next time. But um, one, one of the things is we started to delve into the world of hormones. Um, some of these are more cosmetic, some are very helpful or very health uh, related for sure. So uh, we're talking about testosterone and premature ejaculation. Obviously we talked about uh, libido, etc., all the time, but with premature ejaculation, obviously that can be a big issue with a lot of guys. And so a lot, often it's related to anxiety and different things like that, which of course there's a lot of psychological reasons for that. But sometimes the anxiety is, is really not uh, really uh, related to that. It's related to the blood acidity, which we talked about, uh, these uh, acid sensing, uh, uh, chemicals of these receptors, what we call ASICs, uh, in, in the brain, in between the neurons or the, the nerve cells, there's little communication areas. And when with high levels of blood acidity, these ASICs can be affected adversely. So again, by reducing or by improving that uh, pH balance, the bicarbonate, of course, raises that, makes it more of an alkaline environment, can improve um, these acid sensing cells, and therefore they can relieve uh, the, the, this pressure or relieve the, the damage being done with these sensors. And basically, there's better communication amongst the nerves um, from the nerve cells in between the synapses, which are the gaps between the nerve cells. Therefore, better communication. There's uh, beneficial effects on brain structures and neurotransmitters, etc., that uh, can relieve anxiety and improve uh, communication amongst the neuron cells, which of course improves anxiety, improves overall performance, and can possibly help with premature ejaculation. So, there's some uh, some studies that have been been done linking that, obviously. Um, that have talked about that. So uh, very another another tool to be used uh, for issues like this. Another thing we talk about is with testosterone. It can actually boost testosterone. What? You know, yeah, it's a positive, you know, there's been some studies in this. And again, I don't have any numbers in terms of how much it can help, but it's just one of those things that uh, can, po can possibly benefit testosterone, right? So basically what it does is it can boost cyclic AMP production. Cyclic AMP has got some uh, basically the communication between the cells and the hormones, etc., and it links to um, a protein kinase on, on the cell. Basically, it binds to that and enhances the, the, the communication amongst the cells for neuronal, or for, I'm sorry, for hormonal uh, communication. So, by the cyclic game, be binding to its receptor, the, the, the PKA, protein kinase A. What this does is improves the sensitivity of the cell to an, of the improves the sensitivity of the androgen receptor. So, of course, when testosterone binds in the cell, it gets taken into the nucleus. It does, when it works its magic, it has to bind to the receptors, and then from there it, does, it, it continues translated and it basically transmits its message, message to the cell. So the increase of the sensitivity of this receptor, obviously when the testosterone binds to this androgen receptor, it has to work, right? And we've talked before about in, uh, receptor resistance, whether it's insulin or testosterone or others. So by improving that sensitivity, it's going to increase the communication pathways. So basically it's going to enhance the communication for when testosterone is in the body getting to where it needs to go and communicating that appropriately. So also with the bicarbonate, web by improving the alkalinity, you can improve some studies have indicated it can improve liver health. Of course, liver health is our main detoxifier of toxins and, and other chemicals and other hormones. It can help with it. That's where growth hormones metabolize and it's bind, binds to its receptors. And that's very synergistic with testosterone. So of course, by anything that can improve liver health is going to improve your overall hormone function as well, including testosterone. So one quick quick note on hair, there's been some studies indicating that can Bicarbonate can actually help with hair loss and grain of hair. I won't get into all the details here, but the bottom line is it has to do, um, again, with, with stem cells and, and in your kidney by improving blood flow to the kidney, blood improving uh, the blood acidity balance. Basically, sodium nitrate, sodium nitrate gets converted, and when it's too, uh, too acidic, of course, some of that nitrate and nitrate can be adversely affected, and then that, that hampers stem cell production. Stem cells are produced everywhere in the body, but definitely in the hair follicles, and the stem cells can, can has to do with hair health in terms of growth and the color, et cetera. So by improving the uh, alkalinity of the, the pH, it frees that up, and it, it removes that excessive breakdown of these chemicals, and therefore allows more stem cells to be produced, which is, of course, going to lead to better, longer health, meaning uh, more hair and less gray hair. So that was kind of a cool little study that I read about. So anyway, so those are some cool things. Next time I'm going to talk about sodium bicarb and performance. 
um, in the gym, on the track, etc. So hope you enjoy this, guys. Please like and uh, subscribe to my channel. If there's anything you want to learn about, talk about, please reach out to me. Go to DrEricPrimex.com, find me on YouTube, Instagram, uh, Twitter, Facebook, and uh, post your questions, post your comments. Let's get some conversation going. Reach out to me, like my page, and let me know what you want me to talk about. Happy to talk about it. And again, all things health and hormone optimization related, muscle medicine, and much more. So everyone have a rotten day. We'll talk to you soon.